Okay, yeah, so here I've prepared a, a tier list of tools that you use with Arduinos. Um, I made some, I've made some videos about some of these, some of these products, but this is going to be digital tools and physical tools. So both, both combined and tier listed together. Um, first, it looks like we've got a uh, multimeter. So uh, yeah, I'd say it's, it's pretty useful, honestly, A or S. So yeah, obviously like checking batteries, checking your resistors if you forget how to read the resistor color code, um, checking uh, if your circuit is just actually sending any electricity through, all kinds of stuff like that. So honestly, I think I think it's a solid solid A tier to put a multi uh, multimeter there. Um, yeah, solid A tier. It gets used a lot. Um, helping hands. Helping hands. Now, I'm tempted between S and A tier because the thing is if you're not when you first transition from not using helping hands I think the delay is high I mean it 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 thinks it's low so I'm hoping that it's low it's not on ultra low maybe next time we'll try ultra low for some reason you can't change it while the stream is running maybe next uh next stream if I remember I'll set the set the delay to ultra low instead of just regular low um but hopefully that is good enough for the helping hands. When you first go from not using any helping hands and like it's it's a struggle to solder without that to helping hands, it's definitely like a, a momentary S tier where you're like, wow, this is this is what human innovation is all about. And then you know maybe you maybe you chill a little bit and move it down to A tier. Um, yeah. Okay. So a soldering iron. It's kind of it's kind of the core of a, of a lot of Arduino projects because even if you just pick up an Arduino often you have to solder the pin headers on there um, and for a finished product obviously you're gonna have to solder s for soldering is the arms yeah they are the arms are yeah s I, I definitely think a uh, soldering iron is s tier I'm tempted to put the arms s tier but I, I do kind of like yeah the s is for soldering a is for arms that kind of makes sense. Um, so yeah, we'll we'll leave it we'll leave it like this. We'll leave it like this. Um, wire strippers. Oh, this is actually this is the wire strippers that I have. Um, yeah, definitely very very useful <laughs> until it falls over. Yeah. Um, this one has like a yeah a decently heavy base, but the ones that have like a clamp to clamp down, those are the really nice ones. <laughs> yeah, so that you can you can keep it up because you don't want your hot solder wires falling over. <laughs> Iron is S plus. Honestly, honestly, it is. Yeah. Um, so wire strippers, I feel like, yeah, they're okay. Maybe we should put them in B tier. I can't put everything in A tier. Obviously, you know, this is a hobby we all enjoy. So, you know, we're tempted to put things a little higher, but we have to, you know, we have to, we have to keep in mind in the grand scope of things, wire strippers might actually be a B tier object. Um, I don't know, but definitely very handy. It's it's annoying to try to strip wires with scissors or whatever, and then you just end up cutting off more and more of the wire until eventually you're just left with a little dot. That's yeah, that's not great. So that's that's why we have wire strippers. Definitely very nice. Um, and uh, these ones, if you guys haven't used ones like these, like they have the two little things that come down. So basically, it doesn't like whatever thickness the wire is, it just automatically does it. Like you don't have to worry about the uh, you know one of those like kind of manual wire strippers where you have to look at the wire and look at the hole and then strip with the right hole. No, no, no. This is a modern, modern one where you can just automatically, automatically get it. Yeah, honestly, yeah, let's, let's do it A tier. Let's do it A tier. Um, yeah, I think it's, I think it's A tier. Okay, then we have the Arduino IDE. Um, yeah, I mean, this <laughs> kind of has to go S tier, even though it, even though it starts with an A, it kind of has to go S tier because yeah, almost every Arduino project, you're going to need to program your Arduino, and the Arduino ID is obviously the main way to do that. So I think it's S tier. I think it's S tier. Um, next, we have YouTube, which is obviously a great resource for finding helpful tutorials on how to make Arduino projects, and uh, obviously subscribing to, you know, whoever makes those tutorials. Um, so I think, I think we got to put that S tier. Um, next up we have Blender, which is, I, I don't know if you guys know, it's a, it's a tool for like 3D modeling. So you can kind of do some, 
3D modeling designs, like if you want to 3D print a part of the circuit or just like prototype. Um, it's not it's not as good for electronics. I could put it C tier. I kind of want to put it B tier, you know, B for Blender. And also I like Blender for a lot of use cases, but it could be C tier. It's not as useful for prototyping Arduino stuff as some other softwares, which are more electronics specific. So uh, yeah, we could put it, we could put it C tier. We could put it C tier. Um, Google, obviously it's gotta be S tier, kind of the top resource for, you know, researching if you, you know, forget how to turn on and off an LED or how to set up the Arduino ID, you've gotta, gotta go to Google first. Think Blender is A or B? Okay, well, if, if another person's gonna agree with me, I think, I think we'll bump it up to B. Um, it's definitely a very nice software, don't get me wrong. The only reason we're not putting it as high up is because for Arduino specific things, it's not as applicable as some other prototyping software, which we might get to later. Um, and uh, the next one is actually the, I don't know if you guys have used this much. I think I've mentioned it in a couple videos, the uh, Wacui simulator. It's like a, um, it's a circuit simulator, but it's really nice. It has a lot of Arduino components. I used it for some of the prototyping for early uh, lightsaber creation stuff. And um, yeah, it's, it has Arduino boards, NeoPixel ADs, a whole, a whole bunch of sensors and stuff. So I think it's A tier. I think it's A tier. Um, it's, yeah, it's, it's pretty nice. Let me just, let me just pull it up. Yes. Yeah, so you can pull up like a, you know, a board and then like they even have like some sample projects here. Um, electronics, like, so they have, yeah, they have a pretty good, pretty good simulator here. Um, <laughs> that is weird when you drag it, the wires don't move for a moment, but anyway, yeah. And you can, um, apply your code and, uh, do it in real time. So it's, 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 it's a solid simulator. It's a solid simulator. I'm going to put an eight here. Um, wire snippers, obviously useful. Um, but then again, you can just use scissors if you don't like, you don't technically need a specific instrument specifically for cutting wire. So this might be a, a B or C or tier type object, honestly, because it's not as essential, um, as some of the other objects. I think I'm going to put it B tier because like it doesn't really deserve to go any lower down than that. Um, next up a computer, obviously very useful for programming Arduinos or uh, researching Arduino projects, anything like that might have to be S tier. Now I am biased because I sit in front of a computer literally all day, but I think computers are very, very, very solid invention overall. Um, I think we're going to have to put S tier, honestly. Um, next up we have 3d printers. Definitely, definitely cool. Um, and an interesting, like newer innovation into the field of electronics. I mean, not that it isn't all new, relatively speaking, but uh, yeah, 3D printing is definitely, definitely a really good way. I, I mean, S because half the stuff. Yeah, ex exactly. Computers are definitely, definitely needed for a lot of Arduino projects, whether it's programming or buying the components, as you're mentioning, or anything like that. I think 3D printers could be A or B. I'm not sure. The thing is, they are kind of expensive, like as compared to just like making it out of making something out of uh like pvc or something like that they they can be kind of expensive and the work you have to do to come up with a model for that is somewhat more than the work you have to do to come up with like a quick design for um like a cardboard cutout or something like various you know tutorials do so i think it's gonna have to be b because it's it is high effort and high expense um for for the kinds of projects that we're doing so yeah um, and then Tinkercad, honestly, solid, solid A or S tier. Uh, Tinkercad is, is again, it has circuit simulation stuff, just like, um, this Wacui simulator that we were looking at, but it also has 3D modeling. So I think I might have to keep clicking on the wrong tab. I think I have to S tier it. I, I it kind of deserves to be A, but the thing is, if Wacui is A, Wacui has circuit simulation, Tinkercad has just as good circuit simulation and it also has some 3D modeling capabilities too, which are nice. So I think, I think I'm going to have to S tier because it has circuit simulation and 3D modeling. It's like Blender and Wacui combined, except obviously Blender is a lot more powerful for 3D modeling. But I think for Arduino stuff, Tinkercad definitely is a, is a good resource for that. Plus you can find a lot of stuff you need. Like if you're, if you need a double A battery for your design so you can figure out the size of a battery casing. Like you can find that on Tinkercad. Just 
in the li in the gallery. You can find that and then import it into your project and use it for your design. You can't so much do that with you kind of can with Blender, but it's it's harder. It's harder. So I think I think this is a solid tier list for our tools that we can use with Arduino.